Today we have the 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450 Matic SUV. We are going on a detailed tour of this GLS for 2024. Okay, I'm changing the color. And it just changes because this car has a voice assistant on the MBUX infotainment system. As you can see, it looks very imposing here in the toilet blue metallic, which is a new color for 2024. You can option this in white, black, or even cardinal red. Let's begin with the front look here of this GLS. Now under the hood of this car is a 3 liter inline 6 producing 375 horsepower with 3, 69 pound feet of torque and it has a 9G tronic, automatic transmission, front fascia here, very aggressive air intakes, finished with the high gloss black elements around because this car has an MG Knight package. You can see the horizontal louvers on those outer air intakes. Number of sensors down here as well. The intercooler very large air gap to cool this massive engine here in addition love the size of this grille even larger for the 2024 model year at the center mercedes star which houses your active distance electronic systems there is a front facing camera down here as well and i love the rose gold look very large louvers on this imposing grille the mercedes-benz plaque sits flush on the hood and what about those power domes in this car? What do you think, guys? Gives it a very aggressive look. And uh, this car has multi-beam LED lights with a single eyebrow at the very top and two horizontal LEDs. Very nice. These are intelligent lights. And each of these has 84 individual LEDs. If you look closely, you'll see the number 84 inside right there. 84 LEDs on each of these headlight system. Stepping back to finish off that look, let's step to the side profile. You can see the high gloss black elements. Roof rails are also black because of that package. The window surrounds also finish in black. There are windows, do have a uh, privacy glass and uh, side mirror housings finish in black. Lower section of the car, Fenders finish in the same color as the car, toilet blue, metallic. Let's check out the twin five spoke rims here. Series AMG rims, the size of the front tires, 275-45R21, massive 21 inch. Rims, the front discs are perforated with the black Mercedes-Benz lettering on the brakes and uh, silver brake calipers. On the side here, side running board, right across, gives the car a very fresh off-road appearance. And uh, stepping up here, side mirror housings in black, and there is a camera right here, warns you of the blind spots around your car as you drive. Love the chrome door handles and uh, privacy glass. And uh, let's check out the back section here. Pretty standard gas cap right here. Love the fenders finishing the same color as the car. The size of the red tires is 315 for TR21. These are very wide tires in this GLS. Stepping back to the rear design here, I love how elegant this looks. These are new LED tail lights for 2024 and they have a flashing uh, pattern. So if you stand here for a while, they will dim in and out just like that. GLS Insignia on the left hand side, 450 on the right hand side. Love this elegant chrome element. Mercedes Star sits at the center. Lower section, this is a class 2 trailer hitch, which means that we can tow up to 7,700 pounds right here. The exhaust tail pipes are fake. These are just for aesthetics. The real exhausts are underneath right here. Stepping up here, I just love this rear spoiler in a sense on a GLS. How gorgeous is that? Let's step into the back here. Now, this is the third row seat option, GLS. I just love the brown interior. And some of you might say this is uh, for baby boomers or older folks, but it's a very nice leather option. The third row seat, there are buttons up here to lower and uh, raise the seat and there is a very small cover cover right here so 
I don't know what you guys think about this look here on this GLS. I think it's very practical if you have a large family or if you go on a road trip. This is a seven seater SUV because of the side row seat option. And uh, there are some floor mats right here. These are MG branded floor mats. And uh, there is a section here for some storage. There is no spare tire in this car. But that's really how it looks back here. Love this chrome piece to protect this section of the trunk. I'm going to push the side and really just close it up. And uh, the electronic tailgate is a plus in my books on this GLS 450. Now, let's step inside and see what we're working with. And this is the interior look. Very refreshing. Wow. I got to tell you guys, this, I haven't seen this before. The, this is literally wood with the ambient lighting across love that uh pattern or the design here there is some storage down here as well let's step inside and see uh let's just see how comfortable this is there is more than enough leg room uh right here about three or four inches between my knees and the front seats uh, it's a very nice comfortable seat and uh, back here, this car does have, check this out. We have privacy netting, um, very nice. I love the wood trim fixtures up here. The Burmester 3D surround sound system. There is a ton of speakers here, about 20 speakers in total. If you look up here, there is a speaker system up here. There is another speaker system up on the other side. And I bet you there is one back here as well. And each of these speakers have ambient lights all across. And check this out. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Set ambient light to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. And as you can see, it just changes because this car has a voice assistance on the MBUX infotainment system. Ah, uh, this is a look from the back facing the Sorry, front. Sorry, I can only do that when I'm online. Okay, very nice look. And then, this car has a dual climate control system. And you can control your climate from back here. You slow the temperature. You can turn it on and off. And uh, there are two cup holders. Fixed cup holders here. Small one and the bigger one. Uh, very nice look. Also in the back, we have heated seats. You don't see that too often. Uh, but again, it's 2024. These are now becoming sort of standard features. You'd expect in a luxury premium SUV, uh, seat adjusters here, which is nice. I love that feature. And also the air vents on the columns here and on the other side. But there is one more up here. It's a seven passenger capacity SUV you expect um to have good amount of airflow in your suv and there is a grub handlebar up here with the there's a reading light and a coat hanger fully loaded um i think this is a good look on an suv what do you guys think and then if you want to get to the back you just walk at the center here um that is really next level okay we have seen the inside second row seats and love the Mercedes-Benz lettering down here. And uh, to tie off, it's a very elegant look. There is a very large speaker system down here. And uh, to tie off that look, this is what we have. 50. I guess I have to... S I guess I have to sit inside to close the privacy shades. So it helps keep your car pretty cool in the summer. All right. Now let's jump inside and uh, check out the front perspective. And here is the front look here. 
And I think this will be very nice, comfortable seats. I, I guarantee they probably have multi-contour with massage as well. And uh, pretty nice steering wheel with the flat bottom design. I just love the gap here, the aluminium, full leather with the golf ball uh, pattern, perforations. And uh, for the driver, member seating, one, two, three, heated, cooled, as well as ventilated seats and a bonus uh, speaker system. This is really good material, this GLS. All right, let's jump inside and go on a drive. Go ahead and change some options here for the driver's perspective. Uh, there is an understated theme right here or the sport theme right here. There is also a classic theme right here with the nav ma mag navigation at the center. There is also a navigation screen and uh, assistance. It's quite a few of these. Got to browse all the way to the end. These off-road with the compass directions and inclination and the service system. Let's go back to the Sport Plus here, to the Sport system rather. I'm gonna go ahead and engage the coffin menu and seat kinetics. Seat kinetics allows me to get uh, multi-contour adjustments on the seat as I drive. Go to the info menu, look at the vehicle data. Let's go to the engine and as you drive, see how it does. Okay. Something else I'll do here is to adjust my uh, side mirrors. And there is a speaker system right here. And uh, right off the bat, drives very well. And because it's a GLS, it's a very heavy car, at least 6,000 pounds, if I'm not wrong, or close to 6,000. And as I went up the hill, I felt the multi-contour adjust and lean the seat back slightly to give me more comfort. And also, once I start to step on the median, I receive a gentle vibration on the steering wheel or a nudge it lets me know that I need to get back in my lane. I need to adjust memory seating for additional thigh support. And if you've seen any of my videos before, they all have the same theme. And uh, again, if you're new here, consider subscribing to Mercedes Lounge. Uh, subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you know when I post a video such as this one. Okay. drive so well the sun is really being set here in Salt Lake City but so far the 9G Tronic automatic transmission is the standard transmission in the GLS same as a GLE very nice transmission system seamless gear changes very uh, you can barely notice the gear shifts Just love how it drives.
yeah, it is such a joy to drive this car. Um, and see it says over boost because the integrated starter generator adds an additional 184 pound feet of torque to this car because it's a three liter inline six with mild hybrid which is just the 48 volt integrated starter generator in the GLS now don't be fooled 375 horsepower is pretty adequate for this car um, it does not get better than this in the GLS Let's set it to the classic look here and uh, see how this is. And it also has this grab handlebar right here if you drive, happen to go off roading, which is really, really nice. Um, and it's quite spacious for seven people, it's more than enough room. Very practical SUV for road trips, especially. Uh, not to mention the sound system in here is one to behold. Now, second generation MBUX infotainment system right here. We have a number of options beginning with these settings here for the driver. You can just browse the different systems through the touch sensitive pad down here, the trackpad. Um, and also 64 colors ambient lights you can also adjust this menu you can see the vehicle options the fuel consumption as well as the braking as well as acceleration so it lets you know how you're conserving or how you're using fuel over time based on the drive behaviors in this car there is an off-road menu right here if you slow down to about 20 miles an hour, I believe it's up to 25, uh, you should be able to see the transparent hood, as they call it. So there is a button right here with a camera icon. When I get to the end, I'm going to press that. And it's really useful for those off-road conditions. You want to see the road and how it uh, is. So pressing the button here and shows you the front facing camera and you can see the front section check all the surroundings and uh, the inclination and so on and so forth also shows you the altitude and uh, come to a stop and you can see if I turn left or right so when I'm in the off-road mode I can really start to enjoy my GLS and uh, take it off-roading courtesy of the transparent hood now if you increase your speed the camera disappears and uh, you're back to this cockpit view with the compass and uh, direction of travel uh, so let's go back to the there's a nav system here and I bet you we also have, uh, let's, let's choose a destination. Uh, I want to show you the nav system, augmented reality navigation, which uses the camera on the windshield up here to show you a front view of the car with um, sort of arrows, blue arrows, which sort of a 3D or futuristic view which they call the augmented reality AR map system. So if I slow down here, the camera system should ideally come on. Uh, see that? It shows you a map or a front view. And the camera system is, is up here, which sits with the radar systems on the windshield because I can see the hood of the car right here. And here we go, you can see the arrows, South Lawn Peak, here in Salt Lake City, Utah. So that's pretty neat, the augmented reality 
will be excellent for city driving. So there is that. Let's just stop the system. And those are the top features in this uh, second generation MBUX infotainment system. There's a phone menu and uh, so on and so forth. So that's a that's system. Uh, the climate control vents down here, very symmetrical, adequate airflow and uh, NFC wireless charging and USB-C ports, two of them, two cup holders down here and the trackpad for the MBUX infotainment. And uh, that's pretty much the GLS 450. It is an absolute joy to drive this car. Again, tons of power. I did check the gross weight. It's about 7,000 pounds. Um, so that's pretty nice in your GLS. Um, so I'm just gonna go back and park it in the back here. I wanna show you guys the camera system 360 degree camera system and I'm gonna park next to the GLE 350 <clears throat> all right that is a look at the 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450 for SUV. Uh, subscribe to Mercedes Launch for weekly videos. Until next time, stay positive. And before we sign off, there is a panorama roof up here. Very giant uh, black on the other side, which is excellent. And let's just close that. We also have reading lights up here and the SOS emergency button. If you're stuck or stranded, press that and Mercedes will send you some help. And uh, sun visors. And this car has two, two sun visors, one for you and one for the haters, okay? So just remember that in your GLS. And uh, that's really the GLS 450. Subscribe to Mercedes Launch for weekly videos. See you next time. Stay positive, guys. Peace.